it's a public area. You can record me if you want, but yeah. um, you'll need to get permission from the district just so that we know. We don't have the authority to get a warrant. So if you're saying for us to yeah, get no, a warrant, Yeah, no, it makes we, it a little more awkward. That. Yeah, right. yeah, so. I just talked to a couple law enforcement officers and say it was a um, private property, so you can film as much as you want on the outside this of the gate. private property? Yes. Oh, you better get him here then, because I disagree. Well, you're gonna have to contact the district office to do that. We, we can't have people walking around that we don't know what the business is. We don't know your identity. And if you could do me a favor, before you walk around the rest of the property, if you just stay right here, we'll no. have the cops talk to you. If they want you to walk around, they no. can allow that. Even though this is a public school district property, mm -hmm. we do need to know what people's business is and the district is gonna to wanna to know that. Hey everyone, I am free. It's February 22nd, 2024. I'm in the city of Tumwater, Thurston County, Washington State. I'm going to the uh, Olympia School District uh, Service Center, the bus depot, transportation hub, whatever you want to call it. I got some tips and leads that they had some unsafe working environments going on, or environment and unsafe working environment. Uh, here at this facility so I'm here to check and see if that is in fact the case like I said this is effectively the bus depot center so I'm going here to check it out and see if that's in fact the case and I may do a public records request while I'm here as well visitor parking. Fortunately, I have no Oh, I said Olympia. I apologize. I misspoke. It's the Tom Water School District. So... How are you doing? Oh, not too bad. How about you? What's going on? I uh, just got some business to do here, so getting ready to go do that. What's your business? Uh, two things. I got to get some video footage, still photo image, and then I also need to get a public records request form. You're getting public rec public images for what? Uh, just something I'm working on. Okay. Did you get permission from anybody to do that? Uh, who would I get permission from? Well, you would hey. need to contact our district first to get approval for that. Because everybody, here's on, what, everybody what, here is on official business. Yeah, I'm here on official business. Too. What's what, your what, official business? Uh, just gathering content, video, okay. and still photo images. Okay. So that's not necessarily a problem at all. Okay. Cool. And uh, it's a public area. You can record me if you want. But yeah. um, you'll need to get permission from the district just so that we know. It's a public area, you can record me if you want, but yeah. um, you'll need to get permission from the district just so that we know that you're here. I am here. I'm letting you know. Right, but we have to know who's on our properties. Okay, yeah, my name's Steve. Okay. Well, you're going to have to contact the district office to do that. We, we can't have people walking around that we don't know what the business is. We don't know your identity. And we don't know your business. 
Well, the identity thing, that's something that just can't happen. Okay. But as far as, you know, letting you know what my business is, I mean, sure, like I said, just getting still photo images and uh, video footage. It's what are you using and that for? Uh, just something I'm working on. So. Okay, we're, we don't do the vague thing, because this act, even though this is a public school district property, mm -hmm. we do need to know what people's business is, and the district is going to want to know that from the district office. Oh, I get. Now, I may be confused, and if I am here, correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a government facility, right? School, school district, district property. Yes, it's government. Okay, so you guys are government employees. We are school district employees. It's local government employees. Okay, so yeah, the whole fourth thing, I just you know. This okay, but we warrant for my idea of the year. No, we like we don't need a warrant. Oh, um, oh, I didn't realize the Fourth Amendment changed. That's well, awkward. And, and actually, wow. if you're talking to uh, transportation supervisors, we don't have the authority to get a warrant. So if you're saying for us, to yeah, get no, a warrant, so it makes we, it a little more awkward. That. Yeah, right. yeah. So, but obviously, you can understand the perception of we don't know who you are, and you have a mask on for obvious reasons. Uh, you know we're in Thurston County, right? Absolutely. Okay. So if you go to the Thurston County Courthouse, there's a giant sign. Uh, it's about four and a half feet tall, two and a half feet wide. It says COVID protocols. The county wants everybody wearing a mask for safety reasons. Now. Obviously. We don't have a mask requirement on this property. Well, yeah, but you guys are subordinate to the county. So, I mean, now obviously... I don't think the clothing police, thank God, are going to show up today and try to exact their vengeance hey, upon just, you for not wearing a We're just trying to have a nice conversation with you. Oh yeah, no, no, I get it. Too, uh, yeah. Not adversarial at all. I'm not. But adversarial you understand. At all? You understand that um, people on this property need to have an official reason to be here. I do. Okay. In fact, it's the number one official reason. Okay, what's that? It's the first amendment. It's even before the fourth. It's uh, what? The First Amendment. Okay. That's about as official as it gets. I mean, heck, it's before all the other official things. Okay. It's the most official thing you can do. The First Amendment allows you to walk around our property when we don't uh, know why well, you're here. Let's actually, what I'd recommend is take the Y off, get your eraser out and erase the okay. Y and use I our think, property. I think right now, I think our conversation needs to be done. Oh, okay. Because we don't know you, we don't know your intentions, and this is a school district facility. Sure. Just like if you were to walk in onto a school property. Zero they accurate. They would contact you at the school Zero property. accurate. Okay. Zero accurate. Okay. Okay. You guys have no appropriate signage, so let me be clear here and check off all the boxes so we can make sure this doesn't go the wrong way. Or at least I can forewarn you that the civil consequences would be large. I understand this. Okay. There is no signage here. Okay. Okay. RCW 28A 635 makes it really freaking clear. Okay. The only thing you can do to restrict access is to either have the appropriate signage or if someone is drinking alcohol in a government employee or using drugs or if there's some sort of like, you know, concern over uh, the person's being violent or something, which obviously I'm not. So I'm aware of the audits such as what you're doing right now. I'm very aware of that in my previous law enforcement career before I came here. Okay. If we have to, which I don't want to bug them, we can contact the police sure. and they can do a field interview with you. Yeah, give them a ring. We have a right to know. You're what telling your me you're a former is cop? Here. Is that what you're we saying? have to know what your business is here. Are you telling me you're a former police officer? I'm telling you we have to know what your business is here. I really hope you were not a former police officer. We cannot not police have officer. you walking around. We don't know who you are. Well, let me we be don't clear. know what your intentions are. I am going to walk around. It's my property. I own okay. it. Well, we'll okay. be calling the police. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. In the ring. Yeah. And right. if you could do me a favor before you walk around the rest of the property, if you could just stay right here, we'll no. have the cops talk to you. If they want you to walk around, they no. can allow that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I get, I get the bossy attitude, but you're I, starting to cross a line right I here. I don't have a bossy attitude. Okay. First of all, this was your you're intent not a police to come here. No, the whole my, time. Just call I have a audit. tip and a lead. I get it. No, I have a tip and a lead. Your presuppositions are incorrect. I have a tip and a lead that there's an issue with unsafe working environments here huh? at this okay. location. So I'm here to thank get you that for footage. telling me that. Yeah. You had all you had but to do was tell me that in the beginning. That doesn't. That doesn't. Is matter. it your I job? Don't, is I don't it your job in your capacity? To do that investigation. Absolutely. Are you an investigator? Yeah. Are you a state investigator? No. Are you an LNI investigator? No. Are you an OSHA investigator? Nope. Are you a law enforcement officer? Nope. Okay, that's now we're getting somewhere. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. You're From my of, perspective, we are. Man, seriously, I think I now see why you're former law enforcement. You're one of those people that goes down the acorn patrol, has an acorn drop on the hood of their vehicle and starts mag dumping everybody. It's probably better that you're out of that field now and not working in a, in a field where you actually have weapons because you're you're sort of teetering on that unhinged maniac kind of an attitude. So maybe it'd be better 
if you just leave me alone so I can get back to work. Although it's not unreasonable for us to want to talk to somebody we don't know that has a mask on and carrying camera equipment, right? You would think well, the same thing. Well, I just went over the mask thing from Thurston County. Big blue and white sign, four feet tall, two and a half feet wide. Go to any of the major facilities and what are they saying? It'd be great if you'd wear a mask. So. Here I am wearing a mask. Totally, now, you have a right to wear a mask. Absolutely, because last time I checked, this wasn't like, you know, what what do they call the uh, morality police in like Saudi Arabia, right? Fortunately, we live in a country where we don't have clothing police. And we actually have things called liberties that allows the free press to come in and work on stories without having tyrants like you. Thank you for that. Trying to impede my ability to go about my liberty. Now uh, I, will I also have. You. I can ask you what your name is. All I want, sure. Like just like you said, First Amendment. I can ask you what your business is here. It's Gandalf. Okay. Name's Gandalf. Okay. Last name's the White. So that's about all you're gonna get. So I'm gonna continue on with my work. If you want to hang out with me, I mean, it's your liberty. So to if this out. is your work, do you have a business card? No. Okay. Yeah, that whole we're gonna loop back around to the Fourth Amendment. Okay. Thing. Yeah. Thank that you whole Fourth Amendment thing. Thank since you you're a government employee, you yeah. I don't identify to the government. Okay. I know it's really irritating when people actually not only know but exercise their liberties. Isn't it crazy? I mean, we all want to live in a happy North Korea, but sometimes you got to take an airplane ride to get there. So, I mean, unless you're going to import, you know, Xi Jinping from China or our mighty dictator from North Korea, I don't know what to tell you, right? I mean, it's kind of awkward. And, uh, you know, the other thing, we don't know if you have weapons on you. I don't know anything about you. Well, let me let me explain something else with. here, okay? Unless reasonable, articulable suspicion exists, that a law enforcement officer, thank God you are not one of them, believes I have a weapon on me, and that would violate the law, because in fact you can't have weapons. And that weapons. would also further speak to your intent on this property. Correct? I would, but you know what? I don't need to explain anything to you. I've been extremely kind and generous mm -hmm. To explain the things that I have. To some and the only reason that maybe. I've done that is because I wanted to. So the real the real thing see like this guy right here seems like a legitimately good public employee. He's not being rude, disrespectful, he's not being a burden on the press's liberties to be here. You're an overbearing former tyrant who seems to be really relishing the good old days when not you know really. acorns would drop on top of hoods and you'd mag dump people. No, not really. I was actually pretty good at it, and I left for legit reasons. So. Yeah, legit reasons sounds like you were probably the next acorn cop. And I would, I would venture to guess that you're not here for legit reasons. It sounds you can guess like guess whatever you want. You're you're doing exactly what auditors do, and I get it. You're pushing you? the issue. You're you're talking about the law. You're talking about the RCW. I get it. God, imagine but. imagine this, man. Imagine this. Imagine a well-educated populace, a well-educated citizenry that actually knew the limits, didn't cross those lines. I don't think I crossed but, any lines. No, I'm not I'm saying not. you did. You haven't done anything illegal. No. Nope. But imagine a citizenry that's aware of their liberties, the very liberties that law enforcement officers are supposed to take an oath to uphold, and that the military defends, actually using those liberties instead of trying to cloister themselves in a manner that says, I'm sort of like a, a soapbox wisher of being in North Korea. Right? I support your rights as much as anybody. Look, honestly, I mean, you kind of come across as a person that doesn't. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you that's your be perception. should sorry. I'm sorry that's your perception. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of not okay. Now, like I said, if you want to walk with me, geez, it's your liberty to do so as well, right? Now, if you'd like to be helpful, I actually have some specific questions. No, no questions. Oh, we'll walk with you, though. Yeah, we'll definitely walk with you. Okay. Do you want to answer any questions? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's taking the lead here. Oh. Just do what you got to do. All right.
actually one thing I do, and it's sort of a requirement issue here, but again, you're not, can't literally make you do it, but I do need a public records request form. So if I could get one. I don't have any, sorry. What's that? Through the district office. Though. Oh, there we go. There's the saltiness. Yeah, public servants going crazy. Public servants going crazy. Not putting a good uh, foot forward here. That did the state, um, gosh, the printing state facility up the street by the oh, ballpark? Oh, talking about DES? Yeah, was it DES? I am. Oh, okay, cool, cool. No, I just, I, I saw you around that day too. Oh, um, weird. <laughs> yeah, no. You're just uh, like literally in that area? Uh, my dad works there. Oh, I did, so okay. I just thought it would be fun. I just, I, did I saw actually, you up there. I was like, is that the same guy? Yeah, I so saw, I've done uh, five updates. Oh, have you? I've done the original story and then five updates. Okay. And it actually developed into something completely unusual. That, really? Yeah, actually. Okay. What, what, is it still on YouTube? Like, is the update on is. YouTube? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what happened is, I, you know, did you see the original video? I saw the original. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the updates. But what it okay, morphed cool. into is uh, the Department of Enterprise Services does not have an accessible way to petition. Oh, to really? Address grievances except for going to that facility, which is bizarre because of course their headquarters is in Olympia, right? So you think you go to Jefferson Avenue building. Right, to right, right. And you walk in. Well, and that's you, I saw you, at, I was doing landscaping around then and I saw you over there. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're following me around I, now. Hey, who's following who now? No, I'm kidding, brother. Okay, I gotta go, but hey, right. nice to see you, man. Yeah, nice to see you, take care. <laughs> You gotta comment then and list all the locations you saw me. I, I, well, this is number three now, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so here. Oh, okay, and then at the ESA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, actually, you could help me out a lot here. Yeah. Real quick question. I've got tips and leads about a uh, basically like an unsafe working environment in the driving year. You heard of any collisions or anything like that between buses? That's a totally fair question. I have not. Okay, fair enough. I'll there do a public records question. And and sometimes I mean, it's, it's just a, and, and of course, you know, that's coming from an anecdotal sure. response. Yep. Um, I don't know how you would garner that information. I'll do a public records request, but I figured, hey, you're here. And yeah, I, no, I appreciate it. You take care, man. Have a good day. You too, man. Yeah, yeah, you too. Seriously. Yeah, have a good day. Well, I think I got most of the footage I need at this point, um, but I don't want the... Uh, the police to think I'm running, so I'm gonna wait for them and make sure they show up. So, do you know when they'll be here? Any ideas? No, they didn't. What's that? They did not give me. They didn't give a time. Like I said earlier, I don't want to bug them with a call like this. They have bigger and better did. things to worry about. They Somebody. have bigger and better things to worry about. Well, I actually I am in agreement with you. I, I mean, agree with you. I agree with you about a lot of things. You what? I agree with you about a lot of things. Believe it or not. Really. Then what? Then why all the acrimony at the beginning? No acrimony whatsoever. You've never met me before. You don't know what acrimony. No, looks I'm like only for basing me. it off of my experience. At the very beginning, it seemed reasonable, and I then it I'm, took a turn. Uh, this conversation doesn't need to occur anymore, oh. and I don't know if the police and that's, are coming. That's and nice. we have we have an unsafe situation out here. All of our buses are about to leave. Oh, well, so. I appreciate. It. Let me know. I'll get off to the side. I appreciate. It. Let me know that. Yeah, thanks. Is that what you want? Is it for them to come here? I don't want them to come here. I don't want them to have to come here either. Like I said, that's a waste of their time and a waste of taxpayer money, don't you think? I am in 100% agreement with you. So can we resolve what's going on here without them having to come out here? Well, they shouldn't even come out here. I mean, really, no, what you guys should to. be telling them, I think she's the one calling the police, you guys should just say, yeah, there's a journalist out here. He's gathering content. I mean, I'm not going to be here for eight hours or well, however many hours it is until it closes, right? I got other things I got to do today for work. <laughs> it's not just this. And we are currently working and we have a lot of things to do here. Too. I know. Get back to work. Unfortunately, we don't know you. We we're not going to let you out of our sight. You wouldn't do the same if you were in my position. Wow. Honestly, I think that's part of the problem here is, is like it? it 
if, if you're if you were a police officer, you should have enough ability to understand innuendo and the complexities of social engagement such that you can hear, A, I absolutely have no ill will. Now I know you're going to say, I don't know that, whatever. Honestly, you guys draw inferences all the time. You can absolutely tell I am not here for ill motives or to do anything bad or break the law. I, I am still here. have no way of knowing that. because Well, I don't, it's not my responsibility to prove it to you to assuage your concerns. The right. fact that you're here doing what you're doing is indicative of something, correct? Yeah, never it's indicative here. of what I you told before. you I'm doing, which is getting video, audio footage, and still photo image. That's what I'm doing. I know, it's really nefarious. It's like top felony you know, right now. No, it's, it's not. It's like treason. No, it's not. That's not what I said. <laughs> you guys are kind of making it out to does seem it, like Does it, it raise suspicion for a reasonable person? Yeah. Is suspicion a misdemeanor or a felony? No, nothing. Exactly. So, you know, honestly, at any point in time, I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. At any point in time you choose, I'm happy to smooth this over, come to an amicable agreement, solution, whatever it is, that allows me to express my First Amendment liberty of press, to do my business, while assuaging your concerns as long as it doesn't violate my liberties like my fourth. The unfortunate thing that you just noted is that we do have work to do once the buses leave inside the building and we're not going to let somebody we don't know just walk around without somebody walking with you. Well, I mean, that's a choice. There's no reason. There's nothing. There is a reason. There's nothing to indicate choice, that anything about my behavior is unlawful, bad, or even concerning. Okay. Thurston County has a request at the county level to wear these. Well, I'm wearing it. I actually have a little bit of a cold. Not bad, but a little bit more. And I'm working on what I'm working on. I mean, it's that simple. You guys don't need 27 people out here. No, everybody's out here because the buses are leaving. All right, well, busy every day. maybe that'll be the case. Just maybe you're right. Uh, we'll see in a second. There's about to be about 50 more people out here, too. Oh, fair enough. Well, I do appreciate you letting me know so I can stand aside because uh, I really do not want to be under a bus. That would be bad. I know you probably want me to be, but... Nope. Not <laughs> I'm just being a little jocular there. Don't, don't gotta get too serious. Oh, you mean over at the Thurston County Reading Center? You were apparently at a bunch of other places earlier today. I was at the Thurston County Reading Center. Have the police been contacting you all day? I haven't had any contact with police at all. Probably because I'm not doing anything illegal. They have bigger and better things to do. Well, like yeah, like earlier. not harassing a journalist who's not breaking the law. We're not harassing. That's not even a bigger, better thing to do. It's like there's nothing to respond to. I asked the president to provide him. Oh, I could provide him. And I asked him for it. I own, I own my media company. Okay. So the person that would issue them is myself. But, you know, I really love the Fourth Amendment. Not more than the, pre, the previous three. But I do love my Fourth Amendment greatly. And I certainly don't want to divulge that to the government because... Honestly, you guys abuse things way too often, so not looking to be a part of the shame train here with you guys. That's not true. You I'm guys, sorry, I'm having a conversation over here with you my guys friend. Are, I didn't invite you to. But hey, you, you don't have the liberty to. I do say I don't have the ability to engage. I can't engage. Now you can say it's rude. It's and we're, we're just not talking to you. Yeah, can you you can take your pictures and I'm going to do. Just don't get hit by a bus. This is not putting it. a good look for the Tumwater School District here. I'm you guys you look like a way. bunch of tyrants. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry. You know, that's the opinion of one person. It is, and it's mm -hmm. going to be the opinion of hundreds of thousands here sure, okay. shortly. Okay. I support the amendments as much as you do, believe me. Somehow that's, I'm that's not really convinced by that. Somehow I have a feeling why. Because you're giving all the evidence about your tyrannical behavior and outlooks in life. That would be it. Oh, it's alright. Holy, are you talking about the transfer station? I was there earlier. That's absurd. Nobody showed up anywhere today. This is my third story that I'm working today. And the first one was at the at the rack. The In Thursday, Lacey. The thir what's that? In Lacey. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 
They really, uh, really hate the uh, press in Thurston County. I can see they put out a bolo for a journalist. Wow, that's really like that's that's seriously like scary socialist land stuff. But the next question would be, what did the journalist do? The journalist got B-roll footage. But there has to have been something more. There always is more context. There's always got to be more to the context than yeah. saying they put Oh, a I'm bolo happy to show. I mean, hey, you're still a citizen here. I'm assuming you're a Thirsty County citizen. The, the Lacey issue for the RAC, the uh, Waste and uh, the Waste and Recovery Center. So the Waste and Recovery Center allegedly had people getting harassed at the second station back. So when you enter into that area, there's like an initial transfer point, like a weight on a scale, and then there's a second. Apparently they were getting a lot of harassment at that point. And unsafe practices down when the bulldozer was actually clearing out all the garbage. So I went down there to get B-roll footage. And actually, nothing to see there. It was actually one of the best uh, transfer stations I think I've ever seen. So it wasn't the rack, the park, it was the waste recovery center? It, I'm sorry, what? You said the rack, I thought, which is the park. Yeah, yeah no, the, the rack is the actual recovery center. And then in Inside the recovery center, there's two parks. There's, I think it's called the off the leash park, and then there's another uh, closed loop park. There's a closed loop park and then an off the leash dog park. So those are kind of towards the front on the south side of the facility. And then further back, there's like the what they call the Hazo House, mm -hmm. the actual refuse area where you go to take your dump, your your oh, like the lacy dump. Yeah, at least you know. I mean, when I when I was looking into the story and learning about it, so I could try to make sense of the tips and leads I got, um, it that's how I learned it was called the rack. A little medieval sounding, but you know. it's fine so uh, I've got the footage I need from here uh, that was a really terrible response from the school district but it is what it is I will say a great lack of response from the Tumwater Police Department good on them I mean why would they show up for something like this that's just absolutely silly so that being said um, that's it here for today uh, one last thing I'd point out which is this sign up here references visitors so the whole notion that you can't be here come on it's just, it's just silly. So, uh, anyways, that's it here for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that all notifications bell so you can get my stories right when they release. Follow me on X and I'm free autumn. And if you want to help keep my feet on the street, you can do so by going to the links in the description. The Cash App and Venmo. I appreciate your support in my work, bringing these news stories to you. And that's it for now. Have a good day. Bye.